Good job, Murph. But you lost the hatchet! Crap. Well, guess we'll just punch the shit out of anyone who crosses us. More things to rotate? Okay. Is that like... Looks like there's a bunch of stuff over there, so I'm gonna go... Wait, how would I... How would I get out of here? Hmm. Hang on. There's gotta be another way down. Oh, uh, we can't even go this way, because of the rock slides. So we have to go in there. Alright, fine. I'll do more rotating. I'll take this. It's better than, you know, going with my bare hands. <gasps> well, why do that when we can have this? Come on. Ooh, that's nice. All right. Oh no, I didn't mean to use a first aid kit. I was trying to remember what my uh, flashlight was. Oh, I lost my flashlight. I don't have it anymore. Huh. Yeah, I don't have a first aid kit anymore either, because I just used it. Damn. Uh, okay. So this is really the only way to see down here. Got it. like that, that sound. Let's go up here first. Push. Pushing this. Pushing it over there? Okay, I can do that. Come on. No? Can't push it across the bridge. Nope. Nope, that is not what you do. Uh, well, then I'm a little confused. Do you push it down the stairs? Am I supposed to, like, crane game it over here or something? So all this machinery Water is shoot. powered by an underground river. Time to rotate more things. For. Good question. Let's stop messing with it. Water's too deep. Uh, okay, so we gotta drain the water over here. Mm. So I was messing around with this uh, water shoot machine over here on this side. And it doesn't really seem like it does anything. 
I might be wrong. Last time I played, um, it was a couple days ago, and I was really, really tired. But, but like, it just doesn't, just doesn't go. Ow! Oh, I was rotating it the wrong way. That's what was going on. Cool. Well, that makes things a lot easier. It's just we've traditionally only turned it one way. Well, so far in the game. So I was not expecting to have to turn it the other way. I'm a creature of habit, what can I say? Wow, it must have drained it. All right, so now what? We just... So what? What's this? Uh, what's this crate over here for? Damn it! I gotta prop this open somehow. Oh my god! Come on, man! All right. Uh, there we go. Wait, what? I gotta redo the whole thing? Well, what activates this? Oh, brother. Alright. So actually, really all I gotta do is... That. I guess it's this wheel right here that activates this. Yeah, it is. Alright. So right there. Right? That should... Prop it open. This is really simple. I always overcomplicate these puzzles. Damn it. I guess it's because. I don't know. Like, most of the stuff that I played growing up was like. You know, point and click. Uh, mainly Sierra games. And the answer was always so obscure. So I, I guess I just instinctively look for obscure solutions or stuff that requires you to, you know, think outside the box or I don't know. Stuff that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it looks like that's a waste of time. Oh, hi. Are you a thing? You look like... Yeah, it's that, uh... The Wolverine woman that we met earlier. She's a... She's a fierce one. What's this? Pistol bullets? I don't mind if I do. What happened to my pistol? Are you telling me I lost it when the bridge fell down? Well, how do I keep all this other shit? Whatever. I was saving those bullets for the first boss fight whenever it... Crap! Alright, come on. I'm not even gonna try. Idiot. How do you go through there? What?! Is that not where we go? Damn it. This is really annoying. So wait, is this the correct way? But there's nothing here. Okay, well this was a gigantic waste of time. Do we just... Do we go down the elevator? Okay, so now the elevator's on. So what was the point of going into the waterlogged area? I don't... Why did I do that? That was a waste of time. This is how you progress. Damn it.
Okay, what was that? Hmm. You know, I remember in Homecoming, Alex was attacked in an elevator as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick that up. I'm gonna keep the pickaxe, thank you very much. Get now! Alright, so... No, 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 come on. I shouldn't have walked into that. What? Push? What do you mean, push? That's what I'm... That's what I'm doing! Come here! Damn it. So, somebody told me in the comments that... Like, the more monsters you kill, the worse ending you get, or something like that. So, I'm probably not supposed to know that. But... No, come back here, you little shit! Damn it. Wow, I'm really not good at this. Like, this is... Oh, it breaks! There we go. Apparently you can knock them down, though. So that's what I try- There we go! Why wasn't the prompt showing up earlier? It just said push, but there was no prompt! Maybe Murphy was like, I'm preoccupied right now. I can't push that minecart. Well, I've got a stick left of my pickaxe. So it looks like all the weapons eventually break. I'm just guessing. Ugh. I mean, if the pickaxe breaks, I guess every weapon does. Okay. Yeah, take that entire giant page, Murphy. Train accident, a devil's pit causes death of eight children. I guess... I guess that's why we're hearing ominous giggling in the background. By Wally Thompson. That's a hell of a name. In what Silent Hill law enforcement officials are calling an unprecedented tragedy, eight children were killed last night when the tour train in which they were riding derailed in the devil's pit mines. Sounds like JP, I was about to say. Witnesses claim that JP Sater, the train's operator, was visibly intoxicated at the time of the accident and that negligence on his part may have led to the derailment. That's why he was so depressed earlier. And why he made that remark about the children loving that little train. The train guy was drunk, said Philip Menton. He doesn't mince words. A tourist from Chicago. He was, a, he was belligerent to everyone, even the kids. There was no way he should have been operating anything. We've just begun investigating, come on, this terrible accident and it's far too soon to speculate on anything, Detective Edward Rogers told reporters this morning. Rest assured we will utilize all available police resources and personnel to uncover the cause. The Silent Hill Tourism Authority has shut down all Devil's Pit operations indefinitely and has released the following statement. We are saddened by the horrific accident involving the tourist train and our facilities and we pledge to fully cooperate with law enforcement officials in all aspects of this investigation. Thanks. I mean, Slater. that's the guy I met outside. Good, Murphy. Very good. Very good. Claps for you. I give you three claps. Very good. That's. You know what? I'm sorry you got just got frustrated with me. What the hell? Thanks. Let's pick this up until we have something better. What exactly... What is this? Might as well pick this up. This, this stick is longer. What? Did he just fall down? Wait, is there nobody in that suit? No, there is. Okay. I guess those are like mannequins or something. They're like creepy stone mannequins. Fuck! 
What? What, what, what? Where? Okay, you know what? I don't have time for this. Ow! What is this thing? Shoot! What? Um, this is very Resident Evil 4. I'm thinking specifically of the right hand. Oh, no, no, turn. Who? No, turn, turn! Why is he- Ah, oh, shit! Wow, okay. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go up this ladder. Oh my god! What? No, come on! I need a metal thing! Oh god, this sucks. That's- that's not right. Get out of there, Murphy. Come on, Murph. You need a metal- metal weapon. Which, unfortunately, the pickaxe is gone. Is it this? Do we take this? Is this what we need? Aha! I don't know how I missed that earlier. No, 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 no! I don't think so. Oh, no! Don't do this to me. Go back up. That's right. This is... Oh, no. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? That's what I thought. Did I lose my pickaxe? No, okay, good, I didn't. Uh, what's this? Danger. No time for that. Go. Go, Murphy, go. Would you get hung up on a pebble or something? Uh. Leave me alone, dude. I'm going. I'm going now. Is he, is he not after me anymore? That would be very convenient if he wasn't. I would appreciate that very much. All right, so uh, what we got here? Devil's Falls. Oh, this is the waterfall that we saw earlier. Damn, so we're at like, we're almost at the pit floor, I would imagine. Maybe, maybe not. We're probably descending further. No, we're going back up. Oh, so that was like the pit, pit floor. 1,700 feet above sea level. Well, good thing Mr. Until Dawn Wendigo over there didn't get me. Mostly because he's utter garbage. All right. Sider! Oh, it's just you. What are you doing, JP? Uh, you know, enjoying the view. You know, they say if you were to put the Empire State Building in here, it wouldn't even reach halfway to the top of this place. Seems like a dangerous place to be sightseeing. You know, none of those things they said about me are true. The papers and stuff, people around town, my lawyers, they said it was just... circumstantial evidence and whatnot. That's what I kept telling them. Yeah, I read all about it. Those newspaper men are goddamn fucking liars! Relax, man. We're just, we're just talking here. What happened? That was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt nobody. I didn't murder nobody. Murder's a mortal sin. You go to hell for murder. Ain't that right, Murphy? Surely your mama taught you about what's right and what's wrong. Those kids had parents that might disagree with you. The paper mentioned negligence. It was an accident! You were completely hammered. There were witnesses. And how about you, Murphy? Someone know all your dirty little secrets? I never hurt anybody that didn't deserve it. And I sure as hell never hurt any kids. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. <laughs> you call this living? Can you imagine what that's like, Murphy? Living all your life inside someone else's life? Can you? <laughs> Listen to us talk. As if anybody out there gives a damn. And we're the ones who decide if we can live with what we've done. Wait. What do you mean? Just wait a second. 
Be seeing you around, Murphy. No! You know, I see what they're trying to do with uh, these characters. They're kind of trying to follow the, you know, Eddie, Angela type of thing where, like, they have a Can't dark secret. But I think they revealed their hand too soon here because we just met the guy and then we read a paper that was like, oh, he has a dark secret, and then we encountered him again. I think it would be more meaningful if it... If we encountered him a couple more times, and we were able to kind of notice that something was off, you know? And kind of piece it together ourselves before the game tells us. Just seems a little heavy-handed to me, but... I don't know. Maybe we'll encounter him again. Maybe that's not the last time. Ah, uh, do I want the wrench or do I want to keep the pickaxe? Pickaxe has a better reach. Okay. Well, this is dark. I like breaking out the lighter. Feels feels more intimate. Murphy gets all like up close, you know. Entry to Cave of Tears. What? The largest stalagmite in all of northeastern America. Wow. Oh man, I can't wait to see the the largest stalagmite in north. Eastern America. Alright, so we're almost to the Cave of Tears. Wow, we're not even halfway to the train station yet. Huh. That train takes quite a roundabout way to Hillside. I just feel like I should mention that. Anyway. How's, uh... How's the inventory? No first aid kits? Okay. I used up my last one earlier, but I'm sure there'll be another one soon. Game seems pretty easy so far. Like, the combat is clunky. Maybe I'm just not good at it. I don't know. It's probably a combination of both. Oh, he's right there. Kind of reminds me of that game Quadrant that I played. Maybe if I don't run, he won't notice me. Nope, I think he noticed me. I think it's too late. It's definitely too late. Okay, a rock. That's okay. Oh, he's down there. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Hey, 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 I don't know if this is the right way or not, but, um... Okay, what's up here? Cash register... <laughs> Welcome to Devil's Pit, yeah, thanks. Where'd he go? Turn this shit off. Is anybody out there? <gasps> or turn it on, I guess. Anybody out there? Is that that DJ guy? No, no, dude, leave me alone. He's trying to... Ooh! Take that. Okay, I don't know what all this stuff is. Ooh. Oh, okay! No time for sightseeing, I suppose. Okay, let's uh, let's go somewhere else, I guess. Well, you know, I'm I'm glad you're around, Wendigo man. Oh God, that's dynamite. Follow the cords. Oh, I guess there's some way to set it off. Maybe up there where we just were. <sighs> Gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, I know. Oh, hi. See, it goes up there. Okay. This is where we were. Damn it! Get out of my way! Stop it! 
Oh, okay, I opened this up. I didn't even notice. Maybe he goes back up. Go back up. Oh, you don't, you don't, you can't piece this together, huh? Not exactly sure how to get to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? There's, a, there's more than one? Shit! Okay. Alright, I got it. Oh, God. Come on, dude. Is he just gonna let me do this? He's gonna let me do it? Okay. Okay, okay, don't don't run right underneath him. That was dumb. Feel better, Murphy. Feel better. Stop it. Okay, I know where to go though. Go where the dynamite was. Fuck! Dude, dude, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. See? We're fine. He's an idiot. He's stupid. He's trash. Doesn't know what he's doing. Alright, um, unlike us, of course, we know exactly what we're doing. We're going back down, apparently. Good. What? Mm-mm. Never let go of Who? One day you'll see it's all come together. Who was telling me that? Look back and laugh at what's past and you'll ask yourself. How the hell did I get through all that? Thank you, disembodied voice of reason. Wish you would identify yourself. So I can employ my source bias and decide if you're worth trusting or not. What? What is that? No, 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 no! Stop it! Come here! You little... Okay. So what happened here? Pick up. Pick up what? Uh. Mountains of Majesty. <laughs> Sorry. By Daniel, English 3A. Judding underneath cerulean sky, a rocky cliffs where my heart lies. Eyes twinkling with emeralds fair, my darling left me weeping there. But her shadow can't take away these bronze cliffs at end of day. Very good, Daniel and English 3A. Go the next Edgar Allan Poe. This must be the train Sayer told me about. Is this, are we already there? We're at the train? Good. The Devil's Train. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Damn it. Come here. Yeah, you just, you writhe on the floor there. What? What's it? A, B, C, D. No. A, B, C, E. What? What's the, uh, what's the solution for this? Is this just a random puzzle? Trying to figure out, like... Okay. Maybe it's like... C, B, A. E. D, C, B, A. D, A, B, C. B, A, D, C? I, are we just trying random combinations? Like, is there a hint for this? How was I supposed to know that? No, no, no. Pick up the... Thank you. We're probably going to lose it on this train ride, actually. 
All right, let's go. Welcome aboard the Devil's Pit Historic Mine Train, with stops at Hillside Station and the Superstition Caverns. Please keep your hands and arms inside the train at all times, and remain seated until the train comes to a full and complete stop. Failing to comply with safety regulations can result in severe injury or death. Enjoy your ride, and please, no flash response. Before it became the charming resort town that we know and love today, Cypress Hill was once the center of trade and commerce, thanks to its rich scenes of coal and iron ore. You are riding aboard a fully restored mining train, originally owned and operated by the Gillespie Coal and Iron Company, which first began extracting ore from the Devil's Pit in 1860. This subterranean railroad was built in order to haul men and equipment into the firm and all other fields below the surface. Long before the discovery of the pit's rich coal seeds, the Oh, he wants a high five. It's not gonna happen, dude. Denied. I was expecting that. No, did I die? I didn't react quickly enough! I can't believe it. I was just like, oh, what a nice little cutscene. What a pleasant little ride. It's like a, like a little, you know, fun house of scares. Hmm. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, good. It's. <laughs> I was like, do I have to do the code again? All right. All right, I'm ready for you this time. I see ya. Wait, maybe it wasn't you. There we go. You're trash. <laughs> oh man. Are you serious? That was it. Uh, that that's how close I was to the end of the train ride. What? What the hell was that? Uh, no. No, I didn't enjoy it. What happened? <laughs> the UV light can reveal hidden clues and objects. Well, what the hell is the UV light? I'm guessing I will get that in the next segment, perhaps. Was that thing wearing a monocle? Very distinguished enemy. You can't ignore it forever. That's a weird little tip. Okay. With the use of the right weapon, Murphy can reach high ladders. I like how they threw it in there like that. That's cool. But I saw you. Hands against the wall. I said, up against the wall. 
You don't have to do this. We should help each other. This place, I... I don't know what it is or how we got here. You know, one thing I... Just shut up! What the... Where did you get this? Where in the hell did you get this? I just found it in these clothes. I didn't... Is this some kind of sick joke to you? No, I, I swear. I don't know what's going on any more than you do. On your knees. What? On your fucking knees. You heartless bastard. You don't deserve to live. You're not fit to walk this earth while good, decent Wait. men. I don't know who you think I am or what you think I've done. Shut the hell up! You think this is funny, don't you? Well, let's see how funny it is with a fucking bullet in your head. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do it. What the hell are you waiting for? Leave me alone, God damn it! I'm sorry.